Time now on the program to delve into something which has become, Hardy, something of a lost art. It has, Nick. I'm carrying an axe today because we are on the hunt for a very special type of tree. Yep. A tree that can be made into shingles. Visiting the family owned sawmill near Mole Creek in Tasmania's northwest is like stepping back in time. The mill run by the Blair family for three generations is one of the only in the state that practices what is now a dying art, shingle splitting. We'll go for a year or two and won't split one and then all of a sudden, you know, you're probably three or four months work. Like, it's something you never make a living out of, I can guarantee you that, but it is good, it's very interesting. This story starts in Tassie's eucalypt forests, where contractors and forestry Tasmania staff keep their eyes peeled for the perfect log. A shingle tree needs to be straight and split well. OK, Daryl, Todd, this is the one that we've set aside. Thought it might be good enough for you. Yeah, well, he doesn't look too bad. Just take a chip out take of him. A chip out of him. See what the bark says. See what he'll be like. Yeah. What's he going to be like? Oh, yeah, it won't be too bad, I don't reckon. Should split OK. Yeah, he'll be good. Yeah, no, that's good. Yep. Nice and straight in the grain. So, yep, I reckon he'll be all right. This tree has been identified as a shingle tree, and uh, Todd and Daryl Blair have contacted me previously stating that they um, need shingle trees for certain projects, and they have over the years and we've um, supplied trees for shingles for um, National Park for their huts and that sort of thing. And, uh, and at the moment we're supplying shingles for a restoration of an old house up in Stanley. Todd, well, phase one is complete. Right. We have our tree on the ground. And, mate, in yeah. the olden days, nice. you would have split your shingles mm. here? Yeah, that's correct, because we wouldn't have had the machines to get it out of the bush. So, yeah, it would have had to be done all in the bush and then carried out, basically. So, yeah, hard work. But those days, uh, we're going to take it back to the mill? Yes, well, they'll drag it down the skidway, get some bark off it, get it out to the mill, and we'll get some shingles out of it. Right, you better show us how to. No worries, shingle. we'll get it out there and we'll get started. Many years ago, I don't know, probably be 30 years ago now, I was about a bit younger than Jack, and Dad started splitting shingles with Alf Walters. Um, he's an old guy that used to live around here, an old bushy. And uh, yeah, I used to pack my lunch and go with them of a, of a day. And while I was having the smoke, I'd grab the shingle knife and start splitting a few shingles, and yeah, just started from there. It's quite rewarding at the end of the day to, I suppose, leave your mark on, on somewhere in the state. You've got to find one that'll split. I've never fell a tree yet that I couldn't get shingles out of. It's like everything, yeah, if you don't do it, well, yeah, then it's basically, yeah, it's an art that's gone. So whatever, yeah, you can find the timber and I suppose it will be a market for them, yeah, you've got to keep it going. So then hopefully, yeah, Jack, when I'm gone, he'll continue the, the tradition, I suppose, of, yeah, of the shingles. So, yeah, it'll be good. So Todd, about they reckon a good shingle splitter in a day eight. can knock out about how many? About 1,500 a day. Which is a fair, right? It is, yeah, it's a pretty good day. So that's blokes back in the day. We have got our own shingle splitter. The heart. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah, a knuckle. Oh. Come on, mate. <laughs> knuckle. That's my first uh, shingle. Yeah, I told you to keep your fingers oh. out of the way. Hurry up. Oh. Hurry up. 1,500 a day. Yep. That's 1,500. It's not easy. <laughs> Most of the demand for today's shingles go to restoring heritage buildings. The latest, Joe Lyons Cottage in Stanley, a house the Blair family first shingled more than 30 years ago. It's not just the age-old art of shingle splitting dives that the boys do here. No, wherever there is a heritage building, there is call for these kind of skills. You've got the shingles. Yep. These are, in fact, floorboards which will be going into Waldheim Chalet at Cradle Mountain. 
These days, shingle splitting is generally only done by a few mills around the country. The Blair family only carry out the process when they are required to redo shingled roofs on various heritage buildings around Tasmania. Forestry Tasmania work with contractors to identify and select unique and special logs such as shingle logs which might be sought after. For more information on how forestry can get you the type of log you're looking for, visit Island Specialty Timbers or jump on the website at forestrytas.com.au.